भद्रम कर्णे भी शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्ये मक्षभीजत्रा स्थिरंग तुष्टवांसस्तनु व्यशेम देवित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्ववेदा स्वस्ति न स्ताक्षो वरिष्ठ नेमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओं शांति 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 वी आर स्टडिंग हियर अथर्वेदीय मुंड उपनिषद विथ शंकर कॉमेंट्री एंड टुडे वी हैव टू स्टार्ट द सेकंड सेक्शन ऑफ सेकंड मुंड इन द फर्स्ट सेक्शन ऑफ सेकंड मुंड वी हैव सीन दैट the reality is described as transcendent immanent reality sarvatita sarvagata and this sarvagatatva was described in very great detail the idea behind that is whatever impinges upon our mind as special and real that should not be real so the reality was shown to cover in our outer every aspect of life which is usually impinges as something special now we come to the second section and the second section deals in one word with sadhana some people have a wrong conception very wrong conception that vedanta does not require any sadhana now though shankar has been telling from the beginning that the chief sadhana is shravan but it does not mean what is that shravan shravan is equivalent to realization so what should be our mind and what should be the sadhana and sadhana is described only in brudarin from which it is taken everywhere that is shravan manan nididhasan so that is the chapter now Shankar introduces by saying, "Arupam sad aksharam ke na prakare na vigyam iti uchchate vigyam." Wherever this "v" is added, it has two meanings: common knowledge, special knowledge. So we mean special knowledge, but theoretical knowledge and experiential knowledge. That is the main function of "v." Vigya means arupam sad. Akshar has no form. No form does not mean only uh, visual form. Shabda, sparsha, rupa, rasa, ganda, all their forms. But it has no form. It is beyond all form. Then how do we experience it? So, as I have been telling always, Vedanta or Upanishads are not rational or intellectual. They are experiential. so that is the question shankar is here that we have heard that reality is one without a second it is entire world but how do we realize that because it has its itself it has no form then how do we realize it so that is the problem iti uchchate so that problem is being solved in this second section that is shankar's introduction avihi सन आई फर्स्ट आई रीड दि मंत्र आवि सन्नीहित गुहाचर नाम महत्पद अत्रपित प्राणतिमीष्च यदेतानथ सदसद्यम परम विज्ञाना यदरिष्ठ प्रजाना हियर इन दि गीता प्रेस बुक देर इज अ रॉन्ग फुल स्टॉप आई डोट नो इन युअर बुक प्रकाशमान सो देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ अवर नॉट बींग एबल टू सी इट दो इट मे नॉट हैव फॉर्म but it is self luminous and how it is self luminous where to find it sannihitam 
it is very very near us very near what is very near not outside what is very near not in the mind what is very near in heart heart is the place of experience so it is sannihitam means it is very very near it is our own reality guhacharam nama now there is very beautiful expression guha means heart and in that moves that is how to experience it is being told so as if you mad but its name is guhacharam its name is moving in the heart now what is moving in the heart suppose it is sitting in the heart and if it inclines this way we see if it inclines this way we hear if it inclines this way we taste that is the meaning of moving in the heart moving in the heart illuminating all our sense organs if it tilts this way mind works if it tilts way the organs work so it is so near and the fun is that it is not to be seen outside but through these actions we have to see inside what it is that is seeing so guhacharam nama now balance is always struck this should not make it limited to my heart it is experienced in the heart but it is everywhere so the next word is mahat padam actually these are two words mahat and padam mahat means it is the greatest mahat means it is all pervading where it is not padam means that which is to be attained goal of life so the arrangement of words are such that if you apply reason you will see they are contradictory but if you can experience that so mahat padam mahat padam atra in that etat this which is being told afterwards samarpitam is fixed in that dedicated to that what ejat pranat nimishachcha that which vibrates that which breathes that which like the eyes closing and opening of the eyes all that is samarpitam tatra so what could be ejat anything in the world which vibrates pranam definitely are men and animals because we breathe so whatever breathes is fixed there nimishat now nimishat can have two meanings actually we uh, close our eyes winking of the eyes or it can be anything which moves like the winking of the eyes like the firefly or anything yadetat janath sadasad varenam yadetat that which is this you should know it as what is sad and asad reality cannot be asad sat means visible asat means invisible sat means gross asat means subtle so whatever in the world is gross whatever world in this yes uh, subtle that is he itself varenyam another very important word it, it takes us away from intellectualism it is something to be adored it is something to be worshiped so the feeling of the heart comes in along with you see there are two elements in devotion love and respect it is something great it is something greatest and we have love for it so that is varenyam varenyam means to be worshiped param vidnanat here vidnan means the subject object knowledge of all the beings it is beyond that 
don't think because it is described to be worshipped and all that it is not an object for you so all the words are arranged though mutually contradictory they will appear but we have to experience it as our reality so it is beyond in the beginning when shauna came to angiras he told him knowledge itself is of two types subject knowing the object is a lower knowledge and we knowing our own reality is the real knowledge so it is beyond the vijnana means experiential knowledge yad varishtam prajanam prajanam vijnanat varishtam param means beyond beyond what yad Prajanam Vigyana Dvarishtam. That is the syntax. Syntax is Yad Prajanam Vigyana Dvarishtam. That is Param. Prajanam means men. Vigyana means the experience of men. Dvarishtam. Superior than that. Beyond that. So that in the first mantra. It is luminous it is moving within our heart it is all pervading it is something to be achieved or realized all this is dedicated to that what is all this ejat pranat nimishachcha yad etat that which is like this janath has to be known has to be known as sada sad varanyam it is both gross and subtle and it is to be worshiped param vigyanat param yad prajanam vigyanad varishtam param means beyond prajanam vigyanad means ordinary man subject object experience varishtam superior than that it is beyond Now let us see how Shankar explains it. Avihi. This Avihi he has explained in two three sentences. Prakasham. One word explanation is Prakasham. It is of the nature of light, luminous. Light is the nearest to consciousness, so it is always described as light. Light makes us able to see. so it is the consciousness which makes us able to experience anything sannihitam very near vagadi upadi vir jwalati bhrajati iti shrutyantarat in other upanishads he is describing now sannihitam shrutyantarat in some other upanishads it is described as वागादि उपादि भीर ज्वलती भ्राजती इति वाग इज एन उपादि उपादि वे ऑलवेज डिस्कस उपादि इज दैट व्हिच इज नॉट द रियल नेचर बट अपीयर्स एज रियल नेचर दैट इज उपादि सो पीपल डिस्क्राइब इट नाउ व्हेन वी स्पीक इट इज द कॉन्शियसनेस व्हिच मैनिफेस्ट थ्रू दैट बिकॉज speak has a meaning and that meaning is because we are aware of something so we are speaking so through our speech it is burning burning means bhrajati shining so this is the style of shankar's uh, bhashya word meaning like that so vagadi adi adi is important that means all our organs of perception and action through them it is burning shining shutan iti shrutantarat shabda din upalabha manavat avabhasate so it appears as we are hearing the words it appears as we are seeing something it appears as we are tasting smelling going speaking so that is the meaning of avihi avihi with sannitam means this 
that our bhasate it appears to be shabdadin upalabhamanavat as if we are experiencing shabdasparcha ruparasaganda further explanation of same avi darshana shravana manana vigyanaadi upadi dharmai avir bhutam sa lakshate upadi what is upadi we see so we see is not the real nature but it appears as if we see shravana we hear as if due to it we hear manana think thinking requires consciousness so as if due to it we think vigyana that means experience so as if we experience adi all these are upadis all these are its appearances upadi dharmai so upadi here will mean i consciousness and i consciousness characteristics are all these see hear think realize dharmai hi avir bhutam sat rakshate so in that it is shining this avi avir bhutam what we use for avir bhutam shining appearance Appearance. for birth we say avir bhut tiru bhut so there is no birth or death but it has come in our experience it has gone out of our experience so that avir bhutam so like that lakshate lakshate always means indicated like that people say indirect meaning indirect is not very good indicated meaning lakshate ridi sarva prani nam so the location is heart of all beings no all beings here does not mean men does mean all beings so everybody has the function of shabda sparcha rupurasa ganda thinking whatever less or more and it is that due to which it is happening and where it is in the heart so heart is the location of i consciousness of every being so there through that upadhi of i consciousness it is luminous in your body's heart yad etad avir brahma sannitam so now after explaining avi he connects this sentence this which is luminous brahma sannitam now he took sannitam to explain avi now separately he takes sannitam samyak sitam nicely established riti again heart it is nicely established in the heart tad guhacharam nama its name is guhachar guhayam charati iti it moves in the cave darshana shravana adi prakare guhacharam iti prakhyatam so it is well known he says that seeing hearing in all this way it is you understood that figure that is as if moving tilting now how beautiful is this vision and that is the way to realize that we have to imagine imagine means based upon truth that it is something sitting in my heart and just because of its uh, different moving i see here taste etc prakadami says <laughs> it is well known mahat sarva mahatva mahat means greatest than all now a thing cannot be great than other things that cannot be the greatest so greatest means all pervading take a ocean there may be small waves big waves but the ocean is greatest water is rather the greatest ocean also is a form so greatest means like this all pervading पदम पद्यते सर्वे नीति सर्व पदार्थ अस्पदत्वात पदम मींस दैट व्हिच इज कवेटेड ऑब्टेन्ड बाय एवरीबॉडी 
पद्धति मीन्स गोल गोल फॉर एवरीबडी इज टू रिशीव सर्व पदार्थ अस्पदत्वा दैट मीन्स इट इज ए बेस ऑफ एवरीथिंग इन दर्ल्ड पद्धति इज एक्सप्लेनिंग इन टू वेज पद्धति मीन्स दैट विच इज टू बी रियलाइज और ऑप्टेन बाय एवरीबडी अदर मीनिंग इज दैट इट इज द रिसेप्टैकल ऑफ एवरीथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड कथम तद महत्पदम उच्यते सो हाउ इट इज कॉल्ड द ग्रेटेस्ट एंड पदम उच्यते दैट इज बीइंग टोल यतो बिकॉज अत्र सो अत्र मीन्स अस्मिन् ब्रह्मणि इन दिस ब्रह्मण एक समर्पित प्रवेश रथ नाभ इव हरा दट इज अ कॉमन एक्सापल इन दि व्हील देर इज अ नैवल एंड स्पोक्स आर फिक्स इन दैट नैवल इन दि बेसि ऑफ दैट फिक्सिंग द नैवल ओनली द व्हील कैन मूव सो लाइक दैट रथ नाभ इव हरा वाट एज चलत पक्षादि He says, "Moving means take births, because they are moving. Prana, prana, ti ti, prana pana di man manusya paswadi, and prana pana di or bridge. So men and animals. Nimishaccha yan nimesha di kriya kriya vat that which does kriya of thinking. Here he is not told which. So they all of them." man animal birds everybody wings now shankar always says if the word ch comes then the not uh, mentioned also has to be included ch shabdat samastam etat atreva brahmani samarpitam here say ch is the collective in sanskrit and is not put in between two words it is put at the end so and collects everything so samastam etad atreva brahmani samarpitam this is all fixed or based in brahman etad yad aspadam sarvam so this which is the aspada receptacle or object like of everything janatha e shishya now janatha is द्वितीय पुरुष बहुवचन सो दो शौनक इज हैज गॉन देअर बट द गुरु इज टीचिंग मेनी डिसेपल्स टुगेदर सो जानत हे शिष्या अवगछत दट इज ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ जानत तद आत्मभूतम भवताम जानत इज नॉट एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो शंकर रिमाइंड्स एज युअर ओन सेल know that as your own reality know that as your own self bhavatam sadasat swarupam of the nature of sadasat what is that sadasato murta murtayo sula sukshmayo tad vyatirekena bhavat sat sadasat means with form without form means gross and subtle because there is nothing other than that so it is both gross and subtle varanam varaniyam tadevahi sarvasya that is the only thing to be worshiped by all in sundry everybody nityatvat prarthaniyam shankar explain that further he adds nityatvat because that is the only thing permanent in this world so all should pray to it instead of praying to this or that you see how he has brought out the devotion there that it is to be worshiped means because it is the only thing permanent everybody should pray to that he i did not close it today ha huh? he was taking photo i hope nothing will come now i should do that in the beginning ah but right. <clears throat> 
प्रार्थनीयम परम व्यतिरिक्तम परम मीन्स बियॉन्ड विज्ञान प्रजानाम इति व्यवहित न संबंध सो परम शुड बी एडेड एज प्रजानाम विज्ञान परम ये लौकिक विज्ञान है सो ये एक्सप्लेन प्रजानाम मीन्स लौकिक विज्ञान विज्ञान अगोचरम अर्थ नॉट अवेलेबल टू दी ऑर्डनरी परसेप्शन ऑफ मैन यद वरिष्ठम वरतम सर्व पदार्थेशु वरेशु इट इज सुपीरियर देन एवरीथिंग इन दी वर्ल्ड वरेशु अच्छा दी वर्ल्ड इज वरिष्ठम सो वरिष्ठम इज वरतम सुपीरियर अमंगस्ट ऑल सुपीरियर्स वरेशु वरतम तदी एक ब्रह्म दट इज ओनली वन रियालिटी ब्रह्म अतिशय नरम एक्स्ट्रीमली टू बी कवेटेड सर्व दोष रहित बिकॉज वाय वी शुड वर्शिप इट बिकॉज इट इज फ्री फ्रॉम एनी डिफेक्ट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट मंत्र नो द फुल सेक्शन इज फॉर साधना यद अर्चिमत यद अनुभ्य अणु च यस्मिन लोका निहिता लोकिन तदेतद अक्षरम ब्रह्म स प्राण तदु वांगमन तदेतद सत्यम तद अमृत तद वेद्यम सोम विद्धि सो दि लास्ट सेंटेन्स इज समथिंग डिफरेंट हियर यद अर्चिमा दिज रिपुटेशन ऑफ आवि The second mantra begins says it is luminous. Anu be anu. Now anu is not the size of a particle. Anu be anu means subtler than the subtlest. What we cannot perceive by our normal senses is called subtle. Now they are perceived by our mind, but it cannot be perceived by the mind. So subtler than the subtlest. That is anu be anu. Now that does, should not make it small. So yes, mean loka nita loki nascha. All the lokas and the people of those lokas are there only. So anubhya anu should not mean physically smaller than smallest. So next is added that in that all the spheres and all the people of the spheres are there in that. so when the mind transcends everything we'll see it is all pervading now fun is that all this has come out of brahman no if brahman is all pervading how can it come out so manifested that's all so all the lokas and lokinas are in there only in the smallest of the small tad etad aksharam brahma so that is this unchanging brahma etad aksharam was started in the beginning that paravidya was defined as yad etad aksharam so tad etad aksharam that is this akshara brahma sa prana tad angmana but it is akshara does not mean there is world apart from it so it is our life it is our vani it is our mind in our arti swami ji has composed namo namo prabhu vakya manatita mana vachana ekadhar so it is our mind it is our vani it is our prana do it is akshara brahma tadeta satyam now tadeta satyam if you remember has come third time When the karma was described, tadeta satyam, karma karma fall, and in the last section, tadeta satyam, absolutely real. Now here it has not come in the beginning of his section. After this much mantra, tadeta sat, that is the absolute truth, not reality or anything. That is the absolute truth. Tad amritam. What is the meaning of amritam? Two shades come there. When is he normally say immortal? But Amar, Amritam, 
No, I would describe Amritam as in this world, think of any joy in this world. It is impure always. It is temporary always. And it is mixed with pain always. Now think of the joy which is permanent, which is purest, which is never mixed with pain. That is Amrutam. Amrutam represents the Ananda aspect of Brahman, which is never mixed, which is never impure, which is never temporary. And so automatically it is deathless also. Tad Amrutam. Now comes the last line, Tad Vedhavyam. Vedham is something like a target where we hit by an arrow. So it tells us that you have to concentrate your mind on that. So this is a new feature of the sadhana. In the one and a half mantra, how to catch it, how to catch it was shown. And now it has come, suppose, in our conception. So now concentrate the mind on that. Vedavyam. Vedavyam is like hitting. So it is so may with the that is very practical. That is, it is to be hit upon. The guru is not satisfied. So my dear ones, hit it. So do sadhana. Because all this sometimes gives us such a joy, such a pleasure, even to understand that. So we should not lose our moorings. So you see, it, it has to be hit upon. So disciples, now you hit it. We shall see further that hitting will be described in the next mantra. But here this new idea has come, that this is how to catch it, and then the mind should be fully concentrated on that. Kimcha, Shankar said this is just additional to that. Yad archimat diptimat. Diptyahi aditya di dipati iti diptimat brahma. When it is said it is shining, even the sun shines due to his shining, that we should understand. Sun does not illumine that, because the very shine of the sun is from Brahman. Surya or everything shining, fire, electricity, it is through Brahman that they are shining. That is Dipti Mat. Kimcha yad anubhya, shamaka adibhya api anucha sukshmam. Shamaka, you know. Now, it is a small grain, rice of the, it is not rice, most uh, inferior quality rice, that is called shamaka. Shamaka, Anna, in Tamil Nadu I heard this. So, Shankar is from south, so he's selling shamaka, in many places it is called bhagar. So, shama, no description, shamaka di anu, smaller than that. Just sukshmam, meaning is sukshmam. Cha shabda sthulebhya api atishena sthulam prithivyadipya. He says, cha if he gets na, anubhya anucha. So, anubhya anucha means bigger than the biggest also. Atishena stulam prithivya divya, greater than the earth also. Yes, mean loka bhura dayo nita sita bhurva sa, all the lokas are in that. Yecha loki no, loka nivasi no, manusha daya, chaitanya shreya hi sarve prasiddha. Whether men or anybody, it is due to consciousness that they are there. So, everybody is in that. Tad etat sarva ashrayam aksharam brahma. This is the ashray of all. That is aksharam brahma sa prana. Tadu vang mano vakcha manascha sarvani cha karanani tad antas chaitanyam chaitanya ashrayohi pranendriyadi sarva sangata. So all of them depend only on the consciousness. Whether we are breathing or seeing or thinking, 
दे ऑल डिपेंड अपॉन चैतन्य आश्रय प्राणेन्द्रियादि सर्व संघाता प्राण से प्राणमिति श्रुत्यंतर इन केनोपनिषद ब्रदर ने उपनिषद इट इज कॉल द लाइफ ऑफ द लाइफ दैट मीन्स इट इज एक्सप्लेन लाइक दैट वी सी बाय अवर आईज हाउ डू वी सी दैट वी आर सींग बाय अवर आईज we see by our eyes we know that we are seeing by our eyes we close the eyes we do not see we know that we have closed the eyes so due to which we see due to consciousness so it is called the eye of the eye prana of the prana mind of the mind though this language is such that he has quoted from brudarnika parav this is editor's work it is in kenopanishad also so where i would say the jnana and bhakti become one that is how bhakta starts na is the life of my life is the is the eye of my eye is the mind of my mind so that is the depth where knowledge and bhakti become one iti shrutyantarat so from other upanishad he has brought this here it is only it is prana vakman he says in other places we will find prana se prana mana se mano ya yeah. so here it appears as this because it is the consciousness yet prana dinam antas chaitanyam so me explanation is this prana dinam antas chaitanyam so inner consciousness of pranadi aksharam aksharam will be repeated as infinite unchanging unchanging tad etas satyam avitatham satyam means not unreal never unreal amrutam avinashi so amrutam is translated as immortal indestructible tad vedavyam manasa tadaitavyam is it means hit to be hit by the mind. Tasmin mana samadhanam kartamit. So the implication is that mind to be concentrated into that. Hit by the mind means mind to be concentrated in that. He somme vidhi akshare cheta samadhaswa. So good looking one, oh dear one. Hit it. That means cheta your tranquil mind make it concentrated in that akshara brahma now he explains danur gruhitva upanishadam mahastram sharam hi upasa nishitam sandayit ayam metad bhavagate na chetasa लक्ष्यम तदेवाक्षर सौम्य विद्धि सो दट विद्धि एक्सप्लेन्स इन दिस मंत्र दट दो विल बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय उपनिषद्स उपनिषद्स विल प्रोवाइड इन नेक्स्ट मंत्र इट विल टेल ओम सो ओम एज गिवन बाय द उपनिषद्स इज द बो विथ द हेल्प ऑफ दिस बो वी शुड दे आरो शरम शरम इज i consciousness you will tell in the next mantra upasa nishitam see all aspects of sadhana is told repeatedly you have to do upasana and by repeated upasana this arrow is sharpened upasa nishitam the arrow has to hit the target for that it has to be very sharp and this becomes sharp by repeated effort of upasana so the place everything has a place in vedanta and those who are not given to upasana it is difficult for them sharami upasana nishitam sandayit at that arrow which is sharpened by upasana ayam me tad bhavagate na chetasa Another important aspect is that 
the normal Vedantis, they do not attach any importance to the feeling. But in the Upanishad, you see bhava. So bhava gatena chetasa. So the mind should be filled with its bhava. Bhava is feeling. I am. So figure, bow, arrow, sharpened arrow, and that has to be stretched. So when the mind is filled with feeling for Brahman, it becomes stretched. That bhava gatena chetasa. Laksham tadeva aksharam. Lakshya is that very Brahman. So may vidhi. Oh dear, hit it. So that is the hitting. He will further explain these words in the next month. But here it has told like that. Katham Vedavamiti Uchate, how it has to be hit. Dhanur Ishu Asanam. Dhanu means the asana of arrow. Guruitva Adaya. Guruitva means take it in the hand. Upanishadam, Upanishadsu Bhavam Prasiddham. That which is born of the Upanishad or available in the Upanishad, famous. Famous is Om. Mahastram, Mahachata, the Astramcha, Mahastram, Dhanu. So that bow itself is a big weapon. It is big and weapon. Mahastram, Dhanu. Tasmin Sharam, Kim Vishishta Mityaha. What that arrow is not told, but what is the speciality of that arrow? Upasa Nishitam. Santata Abhidhyanena Tanukrutam. Santata means continuous. Abhidhyanena. Upasana is equivalent to meditation. So by constant meditation, Tanukrutam made sharp. Sanskrita Miti Etat. Purified. The meaning is that mind has to be purified. Sandhaita, Sandhanam Kurya, attach that. Sandhayacha, I am Akrusha, Sendriya Mantakaranam, Sovishya, Dvinivartya, Lakshayva, Avarjitam Kurta, Itarta. What is this pulling? That organs and mind should be withdrawn from their objects and put in Brahman only. That is the pulling. So it is not physical that by hand we are pulling. So we are drawing the organs and mind, putting in Brahman. Tad bhava gatena. Tasmin brahmani akshare lakshe bhavana bhava. Shankara has explained further. What is this bhava? Bhavana, feeling. These small things should not be missed. They are the beauty. Lakshya bhavana bhava. So the feeling of the heart should be towards that lakshya. Tad gatena chetasa. Because the mind is filled with that. Laksham tadeva yathokta lakshanam akcharam somya. That is the aim with the. Now, he explicitly tells <coughs> Pranavo dhano sharohi atma brahmata laksham uchate apramate na vedavyam sharavat tanmayo bhavet. One more thing is added every time. Pranava means om. Om is that dhanushya. Sharohi atma. Atma means sopadika, I, that which appears as I, that is the arrow. That means I should go and hit in Brahman and become one with Brahman. Brahma is the laksha, apramatten, that um, nishitam, etc., etc. He says without any slackness, with the has to be hit. Sharvat tanmayo bhavet. This arrow, when it hits the object, it becomes one with that object, like that. Yaduktam dhanu radita duchate, dhanu, etc. They are now explicitly being stated. Pranava, unkaro, dhanu. 
यथा इशु आसनम लक्ष्य शरस प्रवेश कारणम सो इज एक्सप्लेन दट बो इज द कॉज बाय विच द एरो हिट्स द ऑब्जेक्ट तथा आत्मशरस अक्षरे लक्ष्य प्रवेश कारण ओंकार आत्मा इज दि एरो इट्स एंट्रिंग इन टू दि अक्षर ब्रह्म दि कॉज इज ओंकार जपस्ता दर्थ भावना मेन दैट दिस वेरी थिंग विल बी एक्सप्लेट इन मांडुक्य उपनिषद प्रणवे न ही अभ्यस्य माने ना अभ्यस्य माने ना दैट मीन्स दिस ओंकार हेज टू बी प्रैक्टिस्ड अभ्यस्य माने ना संस्क्रिय माना तदा लंबनो अप्रतिबंध है ना अक्षर है होती इष्टते देन ओनली दी आत्मा विल permanently without moving stay in brahman if you practice om yatha dhanusha aste ishur lakshe as through the bow the arrow goes to the object so when we practice om then only we ourselves will become steady in brahman ata pranav dhanuriva dhan so it is like the bow शरो ही आत्मा उपाधि लक्षण सो आत्मा इज नॉट रियल आत्मा हियर आत्मा इज आय कॉन्शियसनेस पर जले सूर्य दिवत इह प्रविष्टो देहे सर्व बुद्ध प्रत्यय साक्षतया पर इट इज एक्चुअली द रियालिटी बट इट हेज एंटर दिस बॉडी जस्ट लाइक दिस सन एंटर्स एज ए रिफ्लेक्शन सर्व बौद्ध प्रत्यय साक्षतया सो वॉट युअर वाइब्रेशन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस इज देअर इट इज द विटनेस ऑफ ऑर्ड दट इज द आय कॉन्शियस स शर इव स्वात्मनि एव अर्पितो अक्षरे ब्रह्मणि अतो एक्चुअली इट इज बेस्ड अपॉन द रियल ब्रह्म ओनली सो ब्रह्मन इज कॉल द लक्ष्य आतो ब्रह्म लक्ष्य मुच्यते लक्ष्य इव मन सामधि सुबी आत्म भाव लक्ष्य मानता सो दट ब्रह्म नेज टू बी रियलाइज एज माइ सेल्फ सो दैट इज कॉल्ड लक्ष्य इट इज नॉट हिटिंग आउट साइड दैट लक्ष्य मीन्स आत्मा टू बी हिट इन ब्रह्म मीन्स ब्रह्म शुड बी फेल्ट एज सेल्फ नॉट आय सेपरेट तत्र एवं सती बिकॉज इट इज लाइक दिस अप्रमत्ते न बाह्य विषय उपलब्धि तृष्णा प्रमाद वर्जिते न प्रमाद मीन्स एरर व्हाट इज एरर थर्स्ट फॉर ऑब्जेक्टिव परसेप्शन आवर माइंड आवर ऑब्जेक्ट्स इंद्रिया ऑलवेज सर्च फॉर सम ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ परसेप्शन दैट इज द थर्स्ट Without that thirst means apramad. Sarvato virakte na. The meaning is that he should have total dispassion. Jite indriye na. So for that one has to control the organ. So all aspects of sadhana are included. एकाग्र चित्ते न स वन पॉइंटेड माइंड वेदव्यम ब्रह्म लक्ष्यम बाय दैट ब्रह्म हेज टू बी हिट तथा तद वेदना ऊर्ध्व आफ्टर इट हिट्स शरवत तन्मयो भवेत लाइक दि एरो बिकम फिक्स इन दैट यथा शरस लक्ष्य एकात्म फल तथा देहादि आत्म प्रत्यय तिरस्करण अक्षर एकात्म फल आपादयत अर्थात so i should not have body consciousness mind consciousness it should reject all pratyas and become one with the self brahman that is the whole description so one set of sadhana has been told but sadhana is of so many types and to supplement this so many other things also are necessary so the 
नेक्स्ट मंत्र डिस्क्राइब सम अदर साधना दी साधना प्रणव धनो इज ओवर नो अगेन वे वॉट वॉज इन द बिगिनिंग दैट इज टोल्ड अगेन दी नॉलेज पोर्शन यस्मीन देव पृथ्वी च अंतरिक्ष ओतम मना स प्राणश सर्व तमे एक जान था आत्मा अन्या वाचो विमुंच अमृत सेतु दिस पोर्शन वॉज वेरी फेवरेट विथ महापुरुष जी दिस तमे एक जान था आत्मा अन्या वाचो विमुंच ऑलवेज यूज टू से डीपर मीनिंग ऑफ दैट सो पृथ्वी अंतरिक्ष आउटसाइड मन प्राण ऑल ओतम ओतम इज ओत प्रोत वी नो दैट थ्रेड्स दिस साइड एंड थ्रेड्स दिस साइड स व्याप्त यस्मीन इन विच दे आर व्याप्त दैट आत्मन ओनली ट्राई टू नो give up all other talk so this is explained as don't talk about other things other things are only talk so give up that is the second meaning vacharam manam ikaro namadeyam so the world is only a matter of talk atman only is to be known atman is to be known give up all other talk means no atman only all other things are only talk and then last word amruta sesha setu that is the bridge for immortality so all this sadhana is to get immortality and this is the bridge shankar says akshara seva durlakshatvat punar punar vachanam sulakshanartham that akshara is difficult to get as aim so again and again it is being told sulakshanartham so that easily it is felt we'll take it next time we read this fifth mantra commentary we shall read in next time. om bhadram karne vishnu yama deva bhadram pashe makshya bhir yajatra sthirai rangai stushta vamsa stanu bhi vashema deva hitam yadayu swastina indro vruddha shrava swastina pusha vishaveda swastina starksho arishta nemi swastino brahaspatir dadatu ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सत श्री राम कृष्णार्पणमस्तु